Hi there! Today I'll show you how I made this scene using our libraries from 3D.Design. Let's get started. I'll create a new tab to show my asset library. I'll be using the World C library. First let's make a box. I'll make it 3 meters wide, cut it in half. I've done it like this so we have the bottom of the box on top of the grid. I'm dragging a house and making it smaller since I'm not doing this on real world scale. I'll do the same with this red house. Basic black material for the ground. I'll add a park to add some green. As you can see I'm just having the fun part of building the place. I need to make these instances real so I can edit the fence. Every town needs a burger place. Let's add the camera for our render. I'll change its focal length to 90mm to make the diorama feel smaller and more toy-like. And move it to a collection called Render just to keep myself organized. And frame the shot. This plane will be my workbench. I'll add a wood material to it from Blender Kit. If you don't know Blender Kit, check out this video on where to download free models and materials. I'll now append my character from Character Z. I'm using the door to reference my scale, so it doesn't look out of place. Now let's pose her. Now let's append the super cat from Petsy and put it on a house, it comes with some pre-made poses. I'll do the same for the van from Vehicle C. These letters are from Font C. Did you know you can copy and paste from one blend file to another? That's how I got these letters from Font C's blend file. Did the same process to get these hands in the scene. They are a part of the hand Z pack, but this one is free. I'll use the Sketchfab add-on to download a free paintbrush. If you want to find great free and paid add-ons, check out this video. It's too small, so I'll separate them since I only need one and make it bigger. Here's a pro tip, you can enable auto IK, this is not as good as manual IK but will do the trick. And if you don't know what IK is, here's a video on it. But generally speaking it's an easier way to pose. I've skipped the posing, it takes a while and I try a couple of positions until I find the one I like. Remember to always use reference when posing or animating. I'll download some set dressing from Blender Kit. Never forget to save. If you notice me moving the roller to the hand, it's to compare the size, to make sure it looks nice.
Last touch up and we are done. And that's it. This is a very simple example of how much you can achieve with our pre-made packages. Show us your great creations on our Discord in the link down below while you are there. Make sure to hit the like and sub button to help our channel. Leave in the comments what else you'd want to see and learn. And I'll see you next time. Bye.